Jackie, how are you? Hi, McKeehan, Diane, and thank you so much for putting that on there. <laughs> how are you guys? Can you hear me okay? I am okay, Jackie. I am getting over a cold. Oh, good. Thank you. I am actually trying to um, pull up my live on my tablet so I can see the comments. Okay, I'm turning this down. Okay, you should not hear any feedback now. How's that sound? How are you guys doing today? Jackie and Diane meet each other, if you don't already know each other. All right, I think I can see my comments now. Let me see. Yes, I can. Happy Sunday night. I have been so busy, and I have hardly crafted anything. And, um... I'm actually traveling a lot for work these days, which is something I've never done before. And I've got, excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. <coughs> the last two videos I did recently were um, older ones before I was sick where I had um, posted some hauls, which I've not been crafting. So all I do is shop these days, it seems like. <laughs> all right, so what I'm gonna do is um, I don't know if you guys are familiar and when I get all done here I'm gonna leave the link in the description box below for Pam Van E and um, her uh, I think it, it's Pam Van E um, I think she's known as Pam's Paper Place and um, she is having a challenge, and I think it was for 700 subscribers, and I think she's almost to 800 at this point. And um, she just wanted like an eight and a half by 11 um, decorated uh, page that she's going to create a junk journal with. And I believe she wanted a shabby style. And I actually just emailed her not too long ago because I think her challenge is through February 28th. And I was hoping to um, join it. But um, um, I've been so busy, so I just got the itch because I was talking to um, Jen at Gold Glitter Girl, and she chatted me on Friday because we crafted together. One other time she called me, and we did... Um, <laughs> like, Jackie, you're watching The Princess Diaries 2 and me. <laughs> I hope that's a good combination. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying not to be gross and cough too much. This is going on about 10 days where I've got this cold and trying to get over it. My husband is over there watching the race. And uh, I, I actually live in town, um, or a couple of towns over from where the Daytona 500 is going on. So the, the town is busy, but my husband, say hi, honey. Hello. <laughs> He's uh, sitting over there watching the race. Oh, thank you, Jackie. Thank you very much. All right, so I thought it kind of might be fun to do a craft with me and then get this thing done. So, yay! Did we have somebody join in else for watching? I see Jackie and I see Diane. If someone else is here, hello, or it just maybe hasn't come through yet. Hello, hello, everybody. Honey, ignore his terrible manners. I hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> oh, what race? Horses, no horses. It is NASCAR. Um, Daytona 500. <laughs> we, we live very near the Daytona 500, which is just right up the road. So it's race cars and it's on the TV right now. <gasps> All right, so I am making a... Um, a decorated journal page for Pam who is Pam Van E and she makes beautiful journals so I've kind of got the outline of what I'm gonna do otherwise uh, we would be here all night long just to make one simple project and 
my craft room is a disaster, so I have taken over the dining room table, and now the dining room table is a disaster. So this is my outline. She wanted a shabby, um, a shabby themed, and here's the paper pad I got this paper out of, and um, I'm gonna um, incorporate some swans with this because I'm all, quite known for loving my flamingos, but I love Maggie Holmes and I love the swans too. So this is the paper pad I'm using, Terrace Blossoms. Oh, I was actually thinking this was a Michaels pad, but it's Paper Studio. Um, and then you can see all the prettiness. I love this paper pad. Thank you, Jackie. All right, so I'm going to start. This is going to be pretty simple. I think, first off, what I'm going to do, are you liking where this is going? Uh, let's see. I think the first thing I'm going to do, so what I have done is I've cut out um, her challenges at eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So there, I've got this sheet, and since they're both white on the back, I thought I would double them and make some pockets, and then this is the other side. So this one is gonna be my inside, so I think I'm going to start by gluing these together, and I want to make this here a pocket, so I'm going to take my circle punch, which I thought I picked up and brought out here, yes because I don't want to have to run away for anything. So I'm going to take the top of this page there. And then I was thinking about inking up the edges here, and normally I would, but since she is going to take them herself and create a journal, um, I'm going to leave the edges um, plain, which I think will be okay, because especially with the decorating, I am itching to do the inking, but I'm going to let her do that, so if she decides to do it, her whole page will match. And then I also am wanting to round the corners here, but I actually went back and I was looking at a couple of journals she has made, and she doesn't round her corners. She tends to leave them, um, at least the couple that I saw, tend to leave them not rounded, so I'm going to do that. And then I think on this back one, I'm also going to round the corners. Hi everyone, I wanna make sure I'm not missing everybody while I'm sitting here doing this. So this front page, well, I had originally cut, actually, here's, here is, um, I used my um, little punch and I did the little scallops and I was gonna make this a pocket, but then I kind of felt like this blended in. So I went in and um, took the back of this one with the, just the brick, but I'm gonna use the white side and make a double pocket here and then I'm going to open this up. Diane, you're crafting at your dining room table too. I love it. And actually, I um. Oh 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 oh! We had a technical difficulty. Yeah, you can see the mess all over my table. I just lost my um little stand. So hang on with me, and I'm going to get this back back in place. Is this what you call a wardrobe malfunction if I was at the Grammys or something? <laughs> My dining table has a good bevel on it, plus I've got a little tablecloth on it. Ooh, okay, crisis averted, I think. Oh my goodness, that scared me so much. All right, I'm coming back around. Oh my goodness, are we better again? Okay, I think that's better. Oh, heavens. <laughs> Y'all are laughing. I'm glad this is funny. Okay. Oh, all right. How's our picture here? Woo. Gotta love live. Has that ever happened to me before? No, I don't think so. <laughs> and on this back... Um, is here, so I think I'm gonna take. Look, we can keep crafting with barely a blip. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take this back here and do another one of these little punches. And are you guys familiar with Pam's channel? I wasn't sure, and like I said, when uh, we get done here, I'll put her information in the description box below. Okay, I think I did that right. Oh. You know what? I was going to make that with a side one, but now it's two tops. But that's okay. We will roll, won't we? <laughs> All right, so 
to start off here, I am going to start gluing these pages together. Ah, Jackie, you do not know Pam. She makes really great journals. I think she sells them too. Um, I really enjoy it. She'll do some craft with me's and things. And I think I'm going to do something like a four by six maybe journaling card. So I'm going to kind of place this here for a placement to see where I want my glue because I'm going to leave this top portion open. And this was actually a fun little project. Um, Oh, cool, Diane. So neither one of you know her. I actually, I think I saw her first do a swap with Dolly, the Crafty Mermaid Mom. Um, I believe is where I first became familiar with her. And um, I've done some journals, and I want to make more. It's always in my head to make more, but there's never enough crafty time, is there? And I hope I'm in frame here. I'm going to scooch up here a little bit. So I am just gluing and so this pocket so whatever I put in this pocket doesn't drop to the bottom here I'm gonna add some glue so what I was gonna say um, did I see somebody was working on a loaded bag I think that was you Diane oh cool so you're working on a loaded bag right now and saw me go live it was very impromptu because I wanted to do a craft with me and really and truly I should be um, doing some work to prepare because I have to fly out tomorrow and I'm like I need a break and I'm itching to craft and if I don't um, do this um, challenge um, I'm afraid I'm not gonna get to do it because it's due um, February 28th I am going to Atlanta and I have to give a corporate presentation, which I have never done before. So I've got a PowerPoint in my notes and just going over that and um, uh, preparing to do it. And there's going to be some training as well. So um, <laughs> a lot has changed in my professional life since November. I used to did not have to do this. Ninju, hello, my friend. Oh, how are you, my dear? So there has been tons going on, and um, yeah, let's just leave it at that. Tons going on. Um, not necessarily bad, but I tell you what, it's I'm totally out of my comfort zone. I'm growing for sure. All right, and I think I'm going to do the same thing here. Probably not, Jackie. I would love to say yes because um, we're flying in for these workshops and I'm flying out right after and it's like every minute has an agenda with um, everything. And number two, The Walking Dead creeps me out. <laughs> Oh, Ninja, you have church service. We usually go, but me and Mark have been so sick. We are getting over cold, and we are just coughing, and it took nothing for us to catch this, so we did not want to um, go and uh, infect anybody. Plus, with everything else going on, we've got to prepare for. So you enjoy um, church services, Ninja. I'm so glad to, to see you stop by. All right, I'm gonna do some more gluing. So I needed a break and decided I was going to. I need. I might need a pin here. My um. My um. Glue is not wanting to work with me. Oh, Jackie, I cannot do horror. You know what? I'm gonna switch to Faber Tech. I cannot do horror. Oh. Zombies, vampires, creepiness. Oh my gosh, I cannot sleep. I just cannot even deal. Not my wheelhouse at, at all. And uh, my kids, I don't think they watch it religiously. I think one of my kids still does. My oldest daughter, who's she's 30, she lives in Ohio. She, I think she still watches it. Oh, Ninju, I'm so glad you're starting to feel better. We're going on, I think, almost two weeks. We're like 10 or 11 days or something like this with this stuff. It's been awful. Hey, Brandy, hello. How are you, my dear? It's so fun to see you guys pop in. It's like, you know, we're we're crafty friends here. And, uh, but even though we're still not next to each other, it's nice to see um, the folks we know. 
Apparently, Walking Dead has a good um, storyline, but I just, I can't do creepy. You know, I used to have terrible nightmares when I was a kid um, over Dracula. And I used to have, um, I think I was at a sleepover with a friend and like the old original one was on the television. Ugh, creeped me out big time. And I used to have terrible nightmares and I just can't do it. I'm putting the wrong piece of paper on here. And Brandy, just so you know, um, Crafting with Fury is Diane. And you know Jackie, I think, Sandy. Sand I, you know what? She told me I'm the only one who calls her Sandy. Sandra, how are you, my dear? Oh, Brandy's watching some Walking Dead. Diane, do you watch Walking Dead? And just so y'all know, anybody came in, that is not me. I don't do any of that. <laughs> Brandy, you know, nope, not for Brandy. Creeps me out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and glue down these front little pockety bits. And I think... Hello, the cutting board. And I'm sorry, I don't think I know your first name. The Mr. Watches at Brandy. <laughs> Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> I don't know why I default to that for you. Oh, cutting board, your first name is Dawn. Well, hello, Dawn from Dawn. I know actually a number of Dawns. You know, my sister's name is Lisa, and I have two brothers, and... Um, they're, they're, well, they're not with them anymore, but their significant others used to be a Lisa and a Dawn. So all of our kids always had like two Aunt Lisas and two Dawns, right? Should be easy to remember. My middle name is Michelle. Are you anywhere close to that? I, and I actually know somebody named Michelle Dawn. I mean, yeah, Michelle Dawn. She goes by Mickey. Beth Schuler, hello, my dear. How are you? You know, I've been thinking about you. You know, Beth and I met on the Crafting Mamas channel with Shelly. And Beth just lives up the road from me. Beth, you're not at the racetrack. <laughs> so I've been thinking this year we need to get together. I would love that. You've been on my mind, so I'm so glad to see you. I have also met, we went to, um, that is perfectly fine. You can call me DM. Lynn, Don Lynn. Oh, really? Don Wells from Gilligan's Island? I don't think my mom named me after everybody anybody in particular however I think she um, from what I understand she was almost gonna name me um, Dominique I don't know I don't I don't feel like a Dominique <laughs> oh, there's my husband coughing he's over there watching the races hey Mary Beth how are you it's so fun to see everybody I know and love show up Mary Beth, I saw you haul the Maggie Holmes. Oh, is it sunny days? Oh my goodness, I want that. Really, Beth, you're gonna make videos? Oh, that is so cool. We'll look forward to that. We should um, all subscribe to you. I may or may not be, I'll have to double check. That way you'll have some audience built in. <laughs> That's exciting. I don't um, do anything special. I just have my iPhone and then I am watching everybody's comments on my little tablet right up here. So nothing fancy. I don't edit. What you see is what you get. Now what I don't tell you, it may take me a couple of tries to get out of video. <laughs> oh, Mary Beth, I love um, summer vibes um when it comes to paper and tropicalness and the bathing suit and all that which i just love um love um you know all the summer themes i just love it 
Yes, um, Sandra, I made a, um, I made the Memory Dex card for Dolly. I actually just mailed it yesterday. Oh my goodness, it's really cute. Your phone is an antique, Beth. <laughs> You did, Mary Beth, you love those tropical designs. So, um, yeah, I made a Memory Dex card for Dolly, the Crafty Mermaid Mom. So she is having a challenge where you just need to send a Memory Dex card to her. And since my time is so limited, I actually did bust one out. And it's been so long since I crafted. I swear it took me like four hours, maybe more, to make this tiny little card. Because my brain was going in so many different directions. Good friend, you're a stronger woman than I am. So once, um, let's see, I think Dolly is scheduled to get my memory decks card on Tuesday. And um, once she gets it, I'll put up the video. But since I'm traveling this week, I probably won't be back till Friday. So the video will probably go up on Friday. But um, it's really cute. I did it. It's a tro I did it tropical themed. And um, it's got some cute little hula girls on it. So don't tell. <laughs> Beth, I'm so excited you're going to do videos. All right, so what I am making here is just one um, junk journal page for Pam Van E, and she is also known as Pam's, <laughs> Sandra, you won't. <laughs> um, Pam is also known as Pam's Paper Place, and she um, makes awesome junk journals, and I actually became aware of her on Dolly the Crafty Merma Mermaid's channel, and um, she does some cool craft with me's. And so she, um, this, what Pam requested for her challenge, both her and Dolly, because I was like, I don't know if I have time to do either one of these, but I would love to, but they were both kind of small and simple. So I thought, well, let me give it a whirl. So, um, cause I have to fly out in the morning and I'm supposed to be going over this presentation, but I just needed a break from it. So, um, this is just one eight and a half by 11. I've cut two pieces of paper, so I've made them into a pocket. So when she gets all of her, um, pages she'll create her own junk journal with it so it's pretty cool yeah Pam is pretty cool so um, I'm not inking the edges just in case um, once she puts her book together if she wants to ink them all a different um, color so I've done this first one which I've just done um, um, two pockets a double pocket here with the little border punch so here inside of here i cut out um, the paper i'm using is terrace blooms from paper studio and i showed it it's from it's this paper pad and it's so pretty um, because her theme that she requested is um and there's some swans on here too she requested um a shabby theme I'm trying to keep up with the uh the crawl here or the the chat so I cut um, fussy cut these um, flowers and I think this is where I'm going to put them and I'm gonna put this pocket up in this corner oh listen to that commercial I don't know if you guys can hear the TV my husband's watching the Daytona 500 which is actually pretty close to me so it's actually in town so unless you're going to the race I don't really go out or if I have to go out I watch um, let me make sure I'm in frame I'm using my fabric tack because I've my um oh my gold my uh, art glitter glue is um giving me difficulties and you know what let me put my pin back in it and I'm crafting at the dining room table. Thank you, Mary Beth. I don't know if they still have this at Hobby Lobby or not. It is really, really pretty. And I love Maggie Holmes, and I love the swan themes. So I'm going to incorporate some swans um, with this as well. So I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I've just glued down these little flowers to make a pocket right here. And then, and I really liked, um, I was... I, I really like that this project is pretty simple. So now I'm going to glue this corner up at the top. I was almost thinking of doing an edge, but you know what? I think I'm going to leave it since I haven't thought about. Oh, right, Brandy. I love it that the paper pads coordinate. I have so much paper. It's not even funny, but I, I've, do, I've been doing a lot of shopping. And I have stuff that I haven't even showed because I actually have picked up some other... Um, well, actually, the last two videos I did, they I recorded them probably about a week and a half ago. And I was like, oh, I haven't even put these up, but I didn't have anything else to share. 
Thank you, Mary Beth. I really think this is pretty. She wanted the, the shabby theme, so I think this will be nice. And I emailed her right before I came on here. So since she needs this by the 28th, I'm making this tonight. And then when I get back on Friday or Saturday, I'll mail it out to her. So it should get there in time. This week is also um, on the 19th is my 25th wedding anniversary. But I will be out of town. So hopefully when I get back, me and my husband, we don't really have plans to go out of town or anything. We just really want a uh, steak dinner well speaking of the lady for whose challenge we are creating hi Pam how are you <laughs> thank you Jackie happy anniversary 25 years I can't even believe it honey can you believe it 25 years baby <laughs> Pam, how are you? I just emailed you uh, uh, right before I started this live, so I haven't seen if you have um, emailed me back. I was asking for your address and making sure I was understanding exactly what you wanted. So I've got an eight and a half, um, two pieces of eight and a half by 11 paper here that I've glued together to make a pocket right here and a pocket back here, which I think I meant to do that one on the side, but you got two top pockets. <laughs> And a shabby theme. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah, really, we're simple people. We just really want a steak dinner. <laughs> Babe, I'm so excited you could join, too. All right, so that is what those two pages look like. And I think this back one. All right, I think I'm going to put some pink lace looking shabby enough oh that's cool Jackie next year is 20 years married and 24 together yes um did somebody ask my anniversaries on the 19th oh good Pam it is if you're not familiar this is the Terrace Blooms by Paper Studio Oh, tell the story how he proposed. <laughs> Sandra, you'll never forget this. <laughs> so, um, and actually me and my husband, we got married one, one year to the date from our first date, give or take a date. So I was actually just sharing with somebody recently that um, he, he, we actually met at church. Pam, no peeking. <laughs> actually, I was glad she was here. Um, and are you liking the pink? Oh, Stonewood at the Tanger. Okay, I will totally do that. I was at Tanger Outlets yesterday. I actually, oh, the, is, it used to be the Vince Carter's place. Are we liking this here? Maybe you want, let's see what looks best. Have you been there? Well, I'm assuming you have been there, Beth. Are you liking, you know what? I used to go to um, Outback because it's like all the steak places. I used to like like the Port Orange Steak House and Jane's isn't there. We used to love the steak and ale because, you know, my husband was born here. He's a native and uh, oh, cool. And I've lived here since I was 14. So we've been here forever. We used to love to go to Steak and Ale. You guys remember Steak and Ale? Ooh, I kind of like this. All right, Pam, are you here? Do you want some little daisies or do you want the pink lace? Hey, honey. Huh? Beth Schuler is on my live here and she said we should go to Stonewoods. It used to be the old um, Vince Carter's because I hadn't even thought about that. Oh, yeah. Pink with the flower lace. Right, Combine them. You guys are smart. Oh, that rocks. We like. And Pam's like the daisies. Pam, do you like them combined? Pink on the bottom. Yep. 
Both is sweet too. All right, we'll go for a combo, a combo platter. <laughs> Guys, this is so fun. Flowers on top. I'm with you, Jackie. I'm following. Truly a craft with me. I appreciate the feedback. <laughs> Pam, I'm so excited you could be here. I really am. Because if I didn't do this tonight, I wouldn't be. Because I and Pam, just so you know, I got a. I think I said it in the email. Actually, I'm on. I'm on drugs. I'm on cold medicine. However, doesn't make me less crazy in real life. <laughs> oh, Mary Beth, yes, go make dinner. I actually brought home a rotisserie chicken from Publix earlier, and then I had a salad. And my husband likes potato salad, so we had something simple earlier. My son's at work, so it's just us here tonight. Thanks, Mary Beth. I'll see you later. Oh, Pam, my pleasure. I was really hoping to do this because I've been sick for the last couple of weeks, and um, I've been actually um, traveling a lot for work, and I was really wanting to do this, and I've got to, and actually when I get done, I'm going to go do some more um, things to prepare for my trip because I actually fly to Atlanta in the morning. I think I have to leave out of here, at worst case, by 11 o'clock. And I've got some things to prepare for, but I've already started packing, and I just need to get on this presentation. Okay, so the lace is going on here. Oh, that's pretty. I actually picked up these laces not long ago at Joann's, and they were, look at this, $1.99, and... I think this one was more expensive and I used my 50% off coupon because I love to get these things but this is like eight dollars so I used my half off and then I think I had a coupon for an additional little bit Sandra yes go to the grocery store I did it before I got home I went and got my hair done and I went to the grocery store absolutely oh Pam I'm, uh, I'm glad you are liking this okay we're gonna go in for the daisies I was using my art glitter glue, but it's all kind of gunked up on me, so I switched over to the, the Fabri-Tac. Okay, I've lost the daisies. I think I cut them, and I'm going to cut some other ones here. Pam, do you like swans? Because I'm going to incorporate at least my plant. Oh, the daisies are in front of me. Hello. Um, I was thinking of incorporating swans with this, too. I love Maggie Holmes' papers. And, um, oh, I love the swan motifs she does. But this Terrace Bloom had swans in it. Energy C for your cold? I will, because um, really, oh my gosh, I believe it or not, I am better. This, we're like 10, 11 days. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. I've been taking some Mucinex, but ugh, I don't know if that helps or not, I tell you. Thank you, Jackie. I am so glad. Pam, I liked that you had a simple challenge, and I'm glad that I could partic participate in it real quick and take a nice crafty break. Ladies, do you make potatoes au gratin? If you do, do you make it on the stove in a skillet? Brandy, when I make potatoes au gratin, I buy Betty Crocker and I mix it all together and put it in a casserole dish and put it in the oven. <laughs> you have to share how you're making them, Brandy. Potatoes au gratin sounds lovely. Okay, so we've got our flowers on here, which I am really glad you guys suggested the both. And then look, it just peeks out from the front. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Okay, so, all right, we need something to go in this pocket, in here, in here, and in this pocket. So, my thought was, Thank you, Jackie. All right. It is kind of pretty. I like it. I like it myself a lot. All right. So the first things I have, I went into my stash and I pulled, um, and why we're doing swans, because swans is in that paper pad. So here are some of the papers that um, I've got. And uh, see the swans? Do you like these, Pam?
I'm just reading the comments. That's why I got quiet. I'm trying to channel my mom's. Oh, gratin potatoes, you didn't like them, but you like them for the family. Ah. All right, I'm going to take these, um, my corner rounder, and I'm going to, this, I was actually going to make um, one of these original pages out of the swan, and since I'm so directionally challenged, I couldn't, um, um, oh, yes, um, oh, so I, when I cut my eight and a half by 11, my swans were, I think, going the wrong direction, <laughs> so then I was like, okay, these are going to become some um, some, um, uh, and, um, extra little pieces in here. So these, and Pam, I did not ink up, um, this, so I wasn't sure when she put them all together if you wanted it all to be a, a one color or not, but actually I don't mind it not inked. I, my first choice was probably to do something like a, um, vintage photo, but then I was like, I'm going to leave this, but I'm going to take this blue, which is a Stampin' Up. I don't even know if they do this color anymore. Cool Caribbean. And I'm going to ink up. Oh, Diane, thank you so much for stopping by. Good luck with your loaded bag. All right, so I'm going to um, take some ink on a sponge and just add some color. I don't know if I'm going to use both of these pieces in here or not, which, quite frankly, they could be absolutely tucked in. Just a little bit of blue. Oh, Pam, I'm so glad you like these papers. Yep, by the 28th. And um, Sandra, did you make a memory dex card for Dolly? And Pam, have you made a memory dex card for Dolly's challenge? Oh, I'm so glad. I tend to craft a lot, um, Pam, with pinks and turquoises. They're kind of my go-to. I love it. <laughs> See ya, Diane. Enjoy your dinner. Brandy's going to cut some potatoes. All right, and Pam, I think I'm going to do a trick that I learned from you. I've got some gold foil paper. Uh, if I can reach it. And I think I'm going to make a little tagger top um, with some hearts right on the top of here. Oh, good, Sandra. You're going to make one for Dolly. That'll be exciting to see. All right. I've got some gold glitter paper that I'm trying to get out of the plastic. And I've got a heart punch here. I hope I've been crafting in a frame. Okay. Sorry for the crinkling. We need to get at the gold glitter paper, which is kind of tough to do. Okay, we'll just rip the rip the plastic off of it. Okay, that was not simple, but I'm trying not, not to, um, and I don't want this to glare too much, so I'm gonna cut two hearts. One, or punch two hearts, I should say. One, and two. And let's see, which one do we like this one on better? This top, this, oh, I kind of like them there. How's this for you, Pam? So I think I saw you do this. A lot of times I make a whole little top. I think you do some, did some circles. I'm pretty sure it was you that I saw do it. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, car break, sorry. So I think I'm going to do that on the top. How do we like that? Oh, cool, Pam. I watched her, um, I think I've seen her do three videos where she has shared um, her, um, her. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this art glitter glue working. Oh, yes, yay. I've had a little time. Oh, cool. That's cool. Extend the date, Pam. And you know, I was, I think I was a little confused, so it might be good to do maybe an update and um, um, say again exactly what you want or show. Because I think when I was looking at the one you made, oh my gosh, and that flip you did was so gorgeous. But then I was a little bit confused about it. So that's why I was double checking. So I would, um, um, or if you have time, kind of do a little video update. I think um, you might get um, get some more. And it's a lovely 
challenge and I'm like, it's something simple that I can do. And oh my gosh, I bet when you get everything back, it's gonna be really pretty. So I definitely hope you get uh, more response for sure. It's a great um, idea for a challenge. You do such pretty journals, Pam. Well, you're welcome. All right, so now we've got one little tag here. And let's see, here is my, oh, I meant to get my swan card out and I forgot. So I've got this beautiful, this was um, some cards I got from Tuesday morning. And the swan's gorgeous. I hope you like this, Pam. It's just blank on the inside. It's a card. So I'm just going to leave that in here. And I thought I'm going to slide that in here. It was my initial thought when I saw it. And I've got the envelope. Isn't this a pretty envelope too? So pretty. Um, I might... maybe do the envelope here or slide it in behind the swan as well. Let's see what else I end up with. Do we like that there? And then what I thought I would do, I also have some other little journaling cards. Then it covers up my swan. I don't like that there. <laughs> From the heart, I have these, look at this cute, from the heart with the swans. I might, I think I might make this one a tag. So let's do that. I'm going to, oh, thank you, Pam. I'm really glad you're liking this. I was like, oh, I hope you like the swans. I'm known for loving flamingos, but when it comes to Maggie Holmes and the swans, I just love it. Thank you Jackie high praise thank you I think I tend to think my style I don't do a lot of fussy but I think my choices because I do like little details um, I tend to think of my style as more clean and simple but I like details so that that's what I think so I know I, I, I live in Florida it is you know I don't even need a coat today it was actually pretty warm out and um, I don't even need um, oh my goodness my poor husband is coughing his brains out honey all right oh did I make a coffee ATC oh you know what I don't have a um, Hole punch here with me. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of pretend that I do and glue on these little round things. And then, um, and then I think I'm gonna do, I have a beautiful swan stamp here. Oh, I'm not gonna glue on the back of it because I won't be able to tell. So ultimately, I am going to zhuzh this up probably with some eyelash trim. Ooh, I wonder. Instead of no, because I want it to be a little tag. Oh, and you know what? I wonder. Oh, do we like that? And oh, oh, you know what? I have this ribbon, and I'm missing the words because I'm paying attention here. Oh, lots of snow. Pam, are you in Michigan? Is that what I remember? Jack, you can absolutely come visit me. I'm in the Daytona Beach area. Don't come during race weeks unless you want to go to the race. <laughs> oh, yes, that little ATC flip. We did um, a traveling pocket letter um, from Ninju. Ninju is here. So we're going to do a state traveling pocket letter. I think Brenda Aller has it right now. Oh, cool, Fort Myers, that's um, a little further, I think it's south, honey, Fort Myers south, I want to say like four or five hours from us, or is it not that long? No, he's coughing, he can't talk. Uh, it's definitely much warmer down here, Pam, you're definitely going to warm up. However, I have to tell you, that video I did with the snow was so beautiful, and I think, who else did I see, Crafty Bean did um, a video, and there was like horses, like across from her. Oh my goodness, it was so, so pretty. Now my daughter, my oldest daughter lives in Ohio about an hour from Dayton. Your husband's watching the Daytona now. It's right, right down the road. But my husband is here watching it on television. My brother um, invited us over and uh, 
but since we're sick and I'm traveling tomorrow, we just had too much going on. I'm like, um, we're just gonna stay home and be simple. All right, I decided to put a cute little heart daisy underneath this from the heart. That's cute. Um, this is um, a Simplicity Lace. I got it at Joann's not long ago. It was $7.99, so I used my 50% off coupon, which made it $4. And actually, there's not a ton on here, but it's this little daisy lace. Isn't it pretty? So that's what this is. And then earlier, like I have this ribbon that was $1.99. I think I had a coupon where I got like 25% off my purchase that day. And so this is the lace. So like on the back of it, I have layered up um, this lace and this little daisy. So um, I didn't bring my hole punch out here. So I'm going to put a hole punch and create, um, um, finish up with a tag on that. You like the daisies? I'm so glad. So I just glued one of those on there and the back has some swans on it. So I think this is gonna live in this back pocket. So I'm gonna put some ribbon and eyelash trim or I'm gonna keep on crafting and then when I get a second, maybe I'll go run and find um, the hole punch. Hey honey, if you're up and around, if you wanna go rummage on my craft table, see if you see a silver um, hole punch. If you don't, that's okay. And he's gonna go out there and go, oh my gosh. Oh, the oh the aqua with the blue flowers. This is um, a piece of fabric, which actually this was kind of like um, a thing that I got at Hobby Lobby, which was almost kind of like, um, it was a tassel with a bunch of these strips and I just pulled it apart. And I think it was on sale or clearance when I picked it up. And isn't it pretty? I love that kind of thing. So that is gonna be my, um, if he finds me the hole punch, then I'll finish this off. I'm gonna put this ribbon here, and then I can't help myself but use eyelash trim on everything. Pam, do you like some eyelash trim? <laughs> so I have um, two, oh, you know what? I should've got, I do have blue too. I have gold, and then I have this pale pink with the silvery, it's kinda hard to see, which actually, well, you know what? I kinda do like that on there. So I think, that's pretty. That's really pretty, actually. I think that'll be tied off with some pink twine, which is here in front of me. Oh, right here. I was pulling this out because, as I said, I'm sitting at the dining room table, and I'm I'm trailing all of the stuff behind me, and I have two cats, and they were like, oh, let's go play, Mommy. Eyelash trim. Yeah, so this has got um, a little bit of silver on this pale pink, and I think that'll be pretty. And then I'll tie it off with some of this um, pink twine. So that will turn this into um, a lovely tag. So if we find a hole punch, yes, he found it. Three cheers, three cheers. Thanks, honey. <laughs> okay, we can actually do the tag. <laughs> He brought me this and a big, and a great big circle punch. He was like, which one? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, sorry for the coffin, guys. Okay, so now we can put our other piece of gold on the back. And actually, I don't know if this is silvery or gold. I can't tell, Pam. It's something metallic. Oh. All right, did I miss anybody coming in? All right, I think we're good. You guys can shout out if I'm missing anything. I'm trying to craft and pay attention. I don't know if I'm winning or not. <laughs> what a hubby, he's a good one. Thanks, honey. All right, we're gonna have a tag, guys. Oh, I dig it. It's pretty. And I'm going to double my twine because I like a good twine presence. I got this one at Tuesday morning a long time ago and I use it a lot. It'll last a long time. I thought, yeah, I was just digging out. I was schlepping things from my craft area, which is a terrible disaster out here onto the dining room. I hope we have enough light because really the only thing, the only light I have is what's going on ahead. However, we seem to look okay here on the, on the tablet. <laughs> Yay for hubby. <laughs> okay, 
we've got the pink and let's double up let's double up on the eyelash because you gotta have some eyelash I don't think I can make a tag let me tell you hardly without putting on you know what it's not a big enough piece and I think and you know what this pink one is like um I almost might want to do it three times uh, scissors right in front of us I have such a giant mess around me I have to clean it up okay let's see how this goes I've got three layers so it's gonna have some nice chunky eyelash trim on the top and I never um, tie my eyelash straight on because I find it stretches and then over time I feel like it can come right off so I always tie on first with a twine you're liking this last page I am so glad I dig this. Pam, I've been wanting to make myself like a swan journal. At some point, I will. And my first thought, um, I'm wanting to do some, I've been wanting to do little golden books for like for a year or more. So I'm just now starting to get the um, ideas up for some. Okay. I don't know. That's an awful lot of eyelash trim, but I think I'm going to leave it long. And Pam, if you want to trim it up some more, you are certainly welcome to. And then I think we're going to trim these guys up just a little bit. Oh, you know what? Let's do it more like a banner top. And then I always forget which way. we got to do it this way. Directionally challenged, so then you never, you never know. Okay, so that will fit into From the Heart. Pam, you think we should add a little blue ink on here? Oh, can I hear the cars racing from our location? Yeah, pretty much. Hun, can we hear them here? What? Yeah. The, the race cars, yeah. Yep, you can hear them everywhere. And um, yesterday, what are the 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 uh, planes that fly over? Um, the blue, I don't know if they're blue angels or who they are, but oh my goodness, we heard them yesterday morning. You, it didn't work out. All right, I'm going to add a little um, sponging on this card because I just think it needs a little bit of pop. What does this say on here? Roxy Theater, 40 cents. Hmm. Yes, probably that, Jackie. Yeah, I love the little golden books, but I also love altering books, and I just love just creating junk journals, too, and I've not... Actually, I always say that I've not done that many. I've done more of the simple ones, and really the only one that I did where, um, which was the bigger production, which was I made a ocean theme one for Dolly the Crafty Mermaid Mom, and that's the only one I've done where I actually like gutted um, an actual book. But then I've done the two altered books when Jan did her um, the Halloween and the. Uh, the Halloween and the uh, Christmas one. I loved making both of those, but Christmas, I totally love Christmas projects. Okay, so that is going to be like that. And I don't, I think that's the way I'm gonna leave this back page um, because it's got the, the trim here and then you can see the, this is kind of long. Pam, I'm gonna leave this um, and you can make it shorter if you want to. Okay. All right, so I've got these couple of things here on this page. Oh, let me move my ink. And then um, I've got this here. So we need something for this pocket here. So I think my thought was um, I wanted to stamp something. So I think what I'm going to do is I have this um, journaling card, and I brought out... I have a swan stamp here it is and I've got I am really sorry I think my cat is catching a lizard hey hun you might I think he's got a lizard you might want to see if brother wants to go outside lizards are problematic in Oh, thank you, Pam. <laughs> lizards are problematic. Uh, is, is that a lizard? Yeah, he got loose. Yeah. He might get it. 
open up the door. Okay, so we've had some excitement here on our live earlier. My um, my little uh, stand fell down. So, <laughs> so now we have a lizard in the dining room that the cat found. He'd actually turned over the rug in the kitchen. I was like, what is he doing? Because he found the lizard. All right, so somewhere on this craft mess, I have a piece of white card stock and some pink trim. Here we go. Oh, I also found this swan paper, which is just one of a single sheets from um, Hobby Lobby. We might turn that into a tag, too. Oh, you got a fairy book, Sandra? Oh, my goodness. That is so cool. All right, so I think what I'm going to do is um, stamp out the swan. Does he have it? No. That's okay. I just, I don't want him, um, he will eat it right here and it just, ugh. So anyways, that is our, our lizard drama that is happening here. Does he have it? Did he go somewhere with it? He's got, all right, then we will, um, is the door open in the kitchen? All right. Hopefully he'll go out. Is it the au gratin potatoes we need the recipe for? Honey, you don't have an au gratin recipe potato or potato recipe, do you? <laughs> My husband doesn't cook. However, he's really good at the ground meat. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stamp this right on the corner here. Oh, that's pretty. Yes, lizard. <laughs> Okay, I lost the lid for the ink. There it is. All right, we are going to trim. There's a paper trimmer living under all of the craft stuff. Ugh. I'm going to close the ink. And I am looking for the trimmer. Trimmer. Okay, you might see here an avalanche. Because I put all of the stuff. Oh, Pam, you know what I forgot is you all also asked for an index card. If we have time or if anyone wants to stay around, I totally forgot about part two that I had in my brain for. Um, I'm going to attempt. I've never done it before. Um, collage. Pam, do you collage? Did you decide on the paper trimmer yet? Yes. You know what I did? I returned it yesterday and got my money back, Brandy. <laughs> That thing was terrible. Who is that? I think I think Fiona has fun. She goes, you should return it because it sounds like it's going to drive you insane. And you know what? I was like, oh my gosh, she is exactly right. And I'm so sad about it because when I returned it, um, oh, I forget what she told me, but I, I was just like, this, this is just crazy. Because it kind of had a locking mechanism. You just started to collage. There's some people that just do it lovely. Okay, so I have cut out this swan. Uh-oh, something must be happening in the race because Mark is not happy. Oh, how many wrecks? Lots of wrecks. So I actually, what I was thinking, Pam, is maybe collaging the index card. That's what I was thinking. And I just grabbed out some stuff from my... um. You got stamps instead. <laughs> and this, and this, you know what? I'm still using the old trimmer because the blade, and I always, um, I'm constant, I do always, um, keep fresh blades around. So my blade wasn't, but it was, seemed like the wire got off track a little bit and it seems to be okay. Now, someone, oh, Jackie, was it you? You talked about someone waxing. I think it was you, um, waxing their trimmer, which I'd never heard of. Um, so this is still working. I haven't opened the new one I got yet, so, um, but I always do try to, um, eh, that's a hair small, so I'm going to trim down the swan just a little bit. Yes, yeah, sometimes it can be, but it's not, and then I know over years, because I've been crafting, paper crafting since like 2001, and I have worn out some trimmers, and they can get wonky just from the pressure um, of the cutting, and they'll get wonky in there. Oh, thanks, Pam. I actually thought I might even do one of these, like, swans on here. Do we like this pink on here? Um... 
blue to our swan. Are you liking this pan? Let's see. Oh, I lost my, okay, here's the blue. Um, you know, I have another stamp sitting around here somewhere that I would like to find that I would like to use. So I think I'm going to add a little blue. Oh, I kind of like it offset, maybe. Hmm. Oh, I'm glad you like the swan. I do tend to pick up stamps from eBay, and I know I got this one on there. I'll just go in and, you know, Google. This one is from, never heard of it, Dragonfly Laser, Belvedere, New Jersey. So I just Googled swans, and I found this, and I've had this for a few years. I love it. Thank you. you. You can hear that I'm sick. <laughs> it's been terrible. Uh, okay, I'm going to say I've got another little speckle stamp on my table somewhere. Oh, Gracie, you're just adding to the fun. Has anyone else been sick or you guys been okay? Thanks, Gracie. I have a stamp that I feel like is on my table somewhere. Oh, and you know what? I wonder if this will fit on here. Do you like this stamp, Pam? Count the happies. I can put that in there or, or, let's see, I have these Stampin' Up! words like, let's see. Always, adorable, wish, cherish, and welcome. Something like that could go in this little place and let's see okay I found the stamp I was looking for um, I was looking for these little speckles and then I've got this but I don't know if it'll fit in there the birds of the air nest by the waters they sing among the branches which is a psalm but it might be too big for that but that was also a thought so I've got some options here Right, Beth? 15 car pile up and nine laps to go. My husband was just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> Pam, you're leaving it up to me? <laughs> All righty. Oh, well, they just, they had a, <coughs> Excuse me. That. 15 car pile up. So what I'm going to do is take, is this the right one here? I'm going to take this little black, um, um, they're just some spots just to kind of make the background not so white. I don't know if I overdid it or not. All right, I think we're gonna offset. I'm just stopping to read. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm going to offset this. And what about some more of those? Oh, let me, let me, I think this is going to be too, too, um, I'm going to stamp this first to see what it looks like, the birds of the, the air. But I, I just feel like it's going to be too big for that space. Oh, I think I'm probably not in frame. All right. I think the Psalms are just going to, yeah, I think that is just too tight to fit in there. All right, so let us see. I think, is the Count the Happies look too, I kind of like that. I think I'm going to go with the Count the Happies. I don't know, though. Sometimes I wonder, you know what? I have decided no, because this just looks um, more childlike, and I feel like the Swan is more elegant. So I think... We're going to go with the script, and I think, I think let's go with Cherish. Any thoughts on the subject? Hi, Rosa, how are you? It's so fun having you guys here. Gracie, Gracie, how are things up there? Are you, are you terribly cold in New Jersey as well? All right, I think I'm going to go with the Cherish. All right, we're going to go with that. 
Oh, I like that. All right, so let's glue down the swan, and I think I'm going to go with this offset, but what I want to do is um, cold but no snow. Not cold at all here. I live in the Daytona Beach area where the race is going on this weekend. Don't even need a jacket today. All right, I need to find some pink ink, which I think is sitting around here somewhere. You would think I wouldn't need so much stuff to make a small little project. <laughs> I know none of you guys have that problem. <laughs> All right, so I've got this very pretty in pink, and you see how old these stamp pads are. Stampin' Up! hasn't made these stamp pads, and I don't know how many years in this style. Um, I just want to deepen this pink. And this card is almost a little more of a green than the blue, but I like it. I hope you like it, Miss Pam. So what I am doing, as you can see here, this is a VR for Pam Van E. And Pam, oh my gosh, I've been saying your, your channel name. Um, Pam's Paper Place, if I'm saying it correctly. Gracie, your daughter lives in Palm Beach. You know what? I think I've seen you say that before. And I was like, oh, no snow here. I am in Florida where it is most of the time warm and sunny and you can get a lot of rain. All right, I think, oh, you know what? I also have these plain pink daisies that are not with the white ones. And maybe let's do three of those. Well, let's see, do we like the white ones? These are kind of really big, so I think I'm gonna use the little, the little pink ones. Oh, she was just up there visiting. Oh, that is so nice. My oldest daughter lives in um, Ohio, about an hour from Dayton, and they have had some seriously cold weather in the snow. And um, my husband is native of this area, and I've lived here since I was 14, so she moved north. Now, my mother was from Cincinnati. We lived all over when I was a kid, but I've been here since I was 14. Oh, thank you, Gracie. All right. So um, I'm saying this is a VR for a challenge for Pam. And so um, she's going to do an update on her challenge. And we are making her a um, junk journal page. And uh, Pam, I'm going to mail this out to you when I get back in town um, on Friday or Saturday. It'll probably end up being Saturday. But I'm going to mail this um, when I get back um, to you. So I'm so excited to have actually gotten this created. You have no idea. And I'm so glad to have some crafty time because it's been a long time since I have crafted anything because obviously if you're watching my channel all I do is shop. And Goodwill is really close to me too. All right so let's see. I want to over overhang these so let's do that right about there getting the glue everywhere do you guys like the over or the offset I should say I think I like that we're gonna like it because it's going down <laughs> and I think we're gonna put these little daisies right here oh Pam you are so welcome I'm so excited to do this oh thank you Gracie all right little daisies are gonna go on let me put add a little glue to them all right and then we'll see what else we need to do okay um so let's go back to the journal page. I'm gonna set this here. So here's what we have so far. So we need an eight and a half by 11 journal page. So that's, this is eight and a half by 11. So I've created a double pocket here. And Pam, I didn't ink the edges and I didn't round any corners cause I thought um, it, uh, I wasn't sure what it would look like when you got it all together. So if you end up wanna ink these or whatnot, but I gotta tell you, I'm not mad at them leaving them plain. Cause sometimes, um, I don't know. It's a difference. It depends on what kind of look you want. So I've got this little swan card here that I picked up a Tuesday morning. We are going to put here. And you know what? I think I'm going to add the envelope to it. So this is the matching envelope. Isn't it so pretty? So I'm going to tuck that in the other um, little 
tuck spot because it's a double tuck spot. If I can get it in there. Oh, poor hubby is coughing again. Are they still cleaning the racetrack? Well, yeah, they had that big pile up at the ninth. Now they're down to two and they had another Oh my goodness, do you hear that? Thank you, Gracie. All right, Pammy, I hope you are liking this. All right, and then we're gonna open it up. And, okay, so we need to put something in this pocket, which, you know what, could be this. Because you know what? We've got the little heart up there. Oh, I like that. I think we're gonna do that. And you know what else we're gonna do? Because it's the details. It's the details for me, I can't help it. <laughs> I think we're gonna come back and we're gonna take, oh, I hope that's not shining in you guys' eyes, the gold, the gold, foil of it all. I'm going to take just um, some gold glitter, uh, actually gold foil paper, not glitter paper, which I do have the glitter paper here, but I actually thought the foil would go better. So I am going to take a piece of this um, gold and we're going to um, fix up um, um, in that pocket or the, the little, so it's not white in here. Paisley Planner, hello. <laughs> we actually just became subbies of each other's channel. How are you? Nice to have you here. Oh, and if you guys wouldn't mind, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. I haven't really had time to put too much effort into my channel so I've been growing slowly but really I started it to craft I don't worry about the numbers too much but it's nice to have crafty friends Jen you did make it hello Jen actually just doesn't live too far from me she's about an hour we actually met each other once at oh my gosh what was it Jen the scrapbook expo last year which I need to think about the scrapbook expo this year or the stamp convention gold glitter girl is Jen if you guys don't know Jen okay so now I'm going to leave that to dry and then we will put our tag back in there and then so we've got this other paper so we're gonna pull this tag out and we're gonna line this pocket with the gold foil so it's got some nice sparkle Oh no, Jackie, you're buffering. Are we buffering anywhere else? Oh, Gracie, let me tell you, if you ever get to go to a craft convention, oh my heavens, it's like you walk out onto the floor. We're buffering? Hmm. Let's see, I don't know what to do to unbuffer it. Do you guys have any ideas? Hmm, hmm, hmm. We're good now. Thank you. I'm like, I don't know what makes it buffer. I don't know how. My, my son is not here playing video games. He's at work. <laughs> Go out and come back in. Or everybody else do that. Do I need to do that? We're losing you. Okay, so. Oh, I'm good on your end, Gracie. Good. And what I did is I went ahead and went out on my tablet to see if that would make a difference. Good. I'm glad I'm good on your end. So let me go to my channel and come back so I can see comments. My channel. There I am. Okay, everything is fine. Hi, Irene. How are you? Irene, I don't know if I'm familiar with you. Hello and welcome. All right, I'm going to keep on crafting because I think my glue is drying. So I am lining the back inside with some gold glitter paper. Pam, I hope you like the gold touches. I love some gold touches. That's how I roll. 
Okay, so now we've got some gold in there. Oh, Jen, the presentation, I just had to take a break. It's coming along. Um, I have to do some traveling this week and I have to give a corporate presentation on Wednesday so it's kind of freaking me out because it's the first one I've ever done um, so I'm trying not to dwell on it but just kind of go over it and over it so I'm prepared so we're coming along so I needed a craft uh, I needed a crafty break well, I needed a break so and I was thinking of Pam's um, challenge because I'm like if I don't get this made there's no way that I'm gonna be able to participate all right, so I think that's dry enough. So we've got the gold up here. Oh, that's nice, Pam. I'm glad you guys are subbing because I think all you guys are some wonderful crafty people. All right, so now we've got our card back here. All right, so we've got some touches of gold. All right, so now here is our little journaling card we made and then there's room um, Pam, for you to do what you like on the back. So I, I like this one. I like how that came out. So I'm going to put this right in here. And then let's see. I pulled out some of the journaling cards. This one is just a plain one, and I just love the swan paper. I think I'm going to just leave that and tuck it right in here. And then um, I have this journaling card. A laugh is a smile. That burst, that's sweet. I love that, and I love the little sweet roses on this. And I'm gonna tuck that in here. And then what do you think about this card? I know it's black, do you like this in here? Oh, I kinda do. Um, this is one of those little Hobby Lobby cards. You like the pink and black dots? Yeah, isn't that pretty? Um, I know oh, I've showed this paper a few times. The paper um, pack that I used is this Terrace Blossoms from Hobby Lobby um, because we're doing this journal page. So I'm just doing, or, uh, yeah, one, pa one page. So it's got a lot of, it's got the tuck spots and the pockets and the trim. And I'm going to send this to Pam for her challenge. And then when she gets um, a journal page um, from um, her folks that enter, and then she'll take these and create a journal. And she had requested a shabby style. And I love pinks and turquoises. So I went looking through my paper pads and I came across this one. And oh gosh, I always want to create with the swans and I never do. So this was, this was um, my chance to... Uh, incorporate this is totally right up my alley i'm loving making this bye sandra i will see you later thank you so much for stopping by yeah definitely so pam is gonna um, extend the deadline past the end of the month and she's gonna do an update so definitely check her out um and uh join her challenge it's like a simple little project and don't let me intimidate you too because i probably have got a lot more going on it doesn't have to be as elaborate either Hugs to you, Sandra. All right, let's see. So are we done with this part? I think we are, oh my goodness. All right, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to attempt some collage. Oh, good. Gold Glitter Girl, Jen, I will send you the link to the challenge unless Pam already has. Oh, good. I think you might be on it. Holler at me if I need to do anything because I'm trying to keep up with the feed. All right. So I think, I think this is done. And then we're going to take an index card and we're going to try to do some collage. And you know what? I think I'm going to do another swan on the front of it. Oh, you know what? I've got these Maggie Holmes butterflies. Maybe we'll put one of those on it. Oh, Jen, you made it to Hobby Lobby yesterday. Did you guys find any clearances? Have you guys all found some clearances at Hobby Lobby? I actually went to Hobby Lobby Thursday, not this week, but last week when I got back into town from Jacksonville. 
And um, okay, cool, Pam. And if you don't, I will also leave um, the link to your challenge um, in this, um, when we get done, I'll put it in the description box below. Oh, are you liking the, the butterflies, Gracie? I have my little stash of Maggie Holmes. I love, oh, I'm sorry, we're getting some glare. So I might do these. So I've got some index cards here. Let's see, and I'm deciding do we want to use the bigger one or the littler one? Okay, the craft table ate it. Let's see, here are the scraps of paper. Here are paper scraps, way more than we need for a little index card. <laughs> and let's see, the index cards are sitting here somewhere. I promise you they are. Oh, okay, they're behind the tablet, I see them. Oh my God, I found the lizard. Oh my God, it's under my chair. <laughs> He has no tail. Let me just tell you that. Nothing good on clearance. And you know, last year they had a giant, um, like, 75% uh, off. And this year they've been doing 75% off, but it's not as big as or as widespread like it was, um, like it was last year. Okay, Pam has the link there now um, for. Okay, so I've got the smaller index card and I got the bigger index card. I think. We're gonna go with the bigger one. So what size is this? Four by six. I like a four by six. All right, and I think I'll leave, they're very thin. I can glue them together, or since we're gonna glue paper onto it, let's, um, it might just make it thicker, or if I want, I can come back and add a card. You notice just the quality of things anymore. They're just not they're just not all that great. So number one, look some pink glitter paper. Ooh, maybe we can put a pink glitter heart right in the middle of it. All right, so these are, I just kind of grabbed pinks, turquoises, florals. Everybody's been doing these collage lately and I just think it's so pretty. All right, I'm liking this paper. Pam, are you liking this? Oh, Jackie, I'm so sorry for you. <laughs> I love some Hobby Lobby. I, you know what? I think Dolly was asking us, and I forgot to put on my memory decks card when I sent it to her. Um, what are your interests? And oh, I lost the pink lace. I, I, I work a lot. So crafting is my happy place, but I think I like crafty shopping <laughs> almost as much, if not more. <laughs> All right, and here is some, a little pink, it's kind of therapeutic. I'm like, I don't know, I kind of tend to like cleaner lines. So I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna like all these torn page bits. Do we like some of this? Crafting and shopping is great therapy. I totally agree. You know what my husband he likes to he, he likes to go to the shops as much as I do, honey. Or maybe not as much as I do. My husband will take me, huh? Said you like to go shopping with me? Said a little bit, maybe not as much as me. <laughs> okay. I don't know at what point. So this one's something a little bit more subtle with like some script on it. It's got a pretty background too. Okay, here's where I keep going wrong is I, look, see the white comes off behind me and I'm not tearing them, tearing them right. So it's like I'm kind of pulling off the backing. So I think when they do this, they show a lot of the white bits. And I'm wondering um, if I want to sponge some ink or just kind of leave the white bits what do you will you call my well hey guys i hope you are back i know i just buffered i got a phone call are you guys back Okay, good. My mom called. I think you can make a phone setting where you don't get a call. And I told my, my kids not to 
not to um, call me for a while, but I forgot to include my mother in that. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm glad you're back. All right. Oh, my goodness, Brandy. God bless you. My uh, daughter has recently um, potty trained my grandson. He is three and a half, and he's been doing really good. But there to start out with, very, very tough. Oh, you know what? I kind of did the wrong orientation on this one. Well, fooey. Well, if I actually just take it over, then I can... And Gold Glitter Girl is Jen, and Left Handed Crafter is Brandy. I, when, when my son was little, my, my son, I have, I have three kids. My oldest daughter is 30. She lives in Ohio. I think I said that earlier. And then I have a daughter, Leah, Leah Grace, and she lives at home part-time. She lives and works about an hour away. And since the races were in this weekend, I told her, don't worry about coming coming home um this weekend because town was kind of going to be nuts so um and then my son is 19 and he's here but when my son was potty training i was really sick and i was in the hospital for an extended time and my sister-in-law was keeping him for a while and when i got out um, of the hospital she had potty trained him all right what are you guys thinking of this collage thing I think I'm gonna do some pink here. Now I've got some pink and pink. I need to bring in some more blue. Ooh, this one's pretty. And, oh, this is a brighter pink dot too, because I've got a lot of light pinks going on. Oh, thanks, Gracie. Gracie, have you done some collaging? You do a lot of different things. You know what? I'm just not tearing this paper very good. Yes, mixing it up with some darker shades, I agree. I think I'm gonna put some of this bolder, brighter stuff down here. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna start gluing some stuff on. We could be making a giant mistake, who knows? We'll see. Oh, do you think I should ink any of these things? Thomas the Train. Oh, it's a good idea. I like the white and maybe we can ink the edges I'm not sure all right let's let's ink some all right we're gonna ink some oh or we could do the blues and the blues and the pinks and the pinks that could work all right I have the pink I have the blue I have the blue and the pink is somewhere could be on the floor with the lizard what do you think <laughs> Y'all missed it earlier. My cat had a lizard and the poor thing is no longer alive and it no longer has a tail and it's under my chair. And if I step on it, this live will get a lot more exciting, let me tell you. Oh, thanks, Pam. Ooh, outline with black pencil. Mmm. That almost sounds a little bit mixed media to me. I don't know if I can go that route. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me, cough break. Oh my heavens. All right, oh, okay, I'm liking the blue. Oh, isn't that the way? Oh my goodness, my cat's over here. I thought he was gonna get the lizard again. He went on by. I have two cats. They are brothers and they have very exciting names. One is Brother. And one is Kitty. Very exciting names. A mixed media artist. Yeah, I actually have seen um, folks where they do that black outline, and it's actually very cool. But not necessarily my wheelhouse. All right, we've got some blues. I'm going to start with gluing down the blues. And then if we're outside of any of the lines, we'll trim them up. So I, the art glitter glue is working again. Yay. I had the... I actually... I went and pulled out all my stuff and I was fixing to do this live and then I was like, oh my gosh, I have no glue out here. One of the most important things, my husband was laughing at me. So we can't, we can't go live with no glue. 
Oh, okay, I think I'm like in this direction. We like this direction? All right. Jen, mixed media is her wheelhouse. She likes to get messy. Do you like to get messy or do you just like the mixed media? <laughs> or does it all just go hand in hand? I think that's probably one of the reasons I'm not a fan. Plus, you know what? I feel like mixed media, Gracie, you like to do mixed media too. Oh, Gracie, I've, I've, my heart goes out. It is not easy. You're Maggie. Oh my gosh. I had my cat, Hissy Boy. He was a giant Maine Coon. He was like 18 to 20 pounds. And our vet was this tiny little lady. And she would like oh, huff and puff when she would pick him up. I had him for 13 years and he passed in 2013 in December. Oh my heavens. Oh, cool, Pam. I, I think with the mixed media, um, I think it's a little more like art to me. And I feel like I am more of a paper crafter than an artist. Not that what I do isn't considered art, but you know what I'm saying? There's kind of a difference. Bye, Purple Paisley Planner. I'm so glad you stopped by. All right, I'm going to keep on keeping on. I think I'm glad that I have started gluing it down. We'll make some decisions, which then I'm going to go, oh, my goodness, I wish. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? We forgot the ink. Forgot the ink. Were you yelling at me? Put some pink ink on it. All right, let's put some pink right here. Okay. Liking where we're going. This one is just kind of more of a plain, a neutral. I wonder if I like the neutral. Maybe right here. I think I'm gonna put pink on that, but then I'm coming, covering up some of my other. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. Yes, it is all art. It's just the different kinds of art, I guess I would say. Like, I I don't love mixed media, and I'm not sad that I don't love it either. <laughs> I'm so happy to try this collage. I actually want to do, like, some collage tags. I've been seeing lots of people do this, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to like that. But i got to tell you, it's kind of... Um, kind of relaxing a little bit okay I kind of left a little bit of spot there and then I can maybe sponge some other ink around let's see we've already done those I have this but I feel like it takes it in a direction I don't really want to go and I think I'm gonna move this more to the middle I hope you guys are enjoying this Tags are fun. I do love to make tags, I have to tell you. One of my favorite things to make. I think um, Dolly was talking about um, fun, small projects are kind of the things that she likes to do where they can be fun and quick, and I kind of like that too. Okay. Thank you, Gracie. I'm glad you guys are, are here. I don't very often go live. I think this is probably the third time I've done it. And there was like a year in between because I think it was like in the fall. Yeah, because I think I did fall projects both times. Oh, you know what? The second time I did it, the first time I made some fall cards and the second time I did it, which was actually, I think, a VR for Jackie's. Oh, gosh, I think I did a Halloween pocket letter. All right, let's tear this off. I'm, I'm liking this collaging thing. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to fill in something there, but I think that's okay. This is a bigger piece. I wonder if I wanna take that down a little bit. Let me take it down just a little more. Pam, you haven't done live yet? I think you would be good at it too. Gracie, you've done some lives. Has it been a little while since you've done them? And Brandy, you used to go live. I don't I don't know if I've seen, because, oh gosh, I'm so far behind 
watching people anymore. And, oh, I really like, um, Brandy, you're doing some collaborations with Carla, who is Crafty Cat Incorporated. And, you know, there's another name, Crafty Cat, as opposed to Carla's Crafty Cat Incorporated. And she does some really cool things, too. I'm not sure how I stumbled upon her channel. She's been doing these kind of artistic paper dolls. Um, they're a little bit quirky, and oh my gosh, they're really cute, which used to really not be my style. But as you know, when you craft, you they kind of your style changes up a little bit, and I know mine has. So I think um, it's pretty cool. Oh, I kind of like that in there. Oh, for your one-year anniversary, you know, I always still, and you guys tell me if you feel like this. Um, I always, I still always feel like I'm new at YouTube, even though it's probably been, oh gosh, I'm trying to think. The first thing I ever posted was a mini Halloween junk journal, and I'm trying to think, have I been more than two years or a year and a half? I can't remember. Two. I think it's been more than two years because I feel like I have crafted through two Halloweens. Beth, did, oh, Beth, you said you had an old phone. I know you're working on getting, um, uh, you're, you said, are you getting a camera? Is that what you're getting, Beth? And it's kind of funny, Beth and uh, Janet Gold Glitter Girl, both of them are close to me. Beth is closer, and we have yet to meet. We need to, I want to do that. All right, are we liking this? Oh, really, Brandy? You know what? I did have my channel for a long time because, I, right, you have to create an account to just, um, um, oh, cool, Jenna, giveaway. Yeah, you need to have an account just to watch people or comment. I, I don't know how many years I had it before I actually ever posted a video. And then I was part of a Facebook group, and I had did a, um, a little mini Halloween junk journal. It's the very first thing I ever posted. So I decided to video it, and then my daughter was like, well, why don't you upload it? And I did, and then it probably took me a couple of months before I posted anything else. And then I remember the first time I did a collaboration, so that was probably in November, and then I did a collaboration, um, maybe it was a Christmas card collaboration, which Brandy, I think that's where I met you, with um, you and Ruth Inkwell. That might have been my first one, but I also remember doing a collaboration with um, Tina at Tell Him Thank You, and I can't remember if that was before or after. My brain is as old as I am. Oh, we should schedule a meet up at Joann's and make tags. That's a great idea. Well, you did a Valentine card for your hubby. That's so nice. You know, as much as I do swaps and things, I am the worst at making things for my family. You guys are probably better than I am. It's terrible. All right. Are you guys liking this? All right, I think, I think, well, let's bunch it up pink. I like the, I, I, my go-to colors are my pinks and my turquoise. Well, thank you, Pam. All right, I think we probably just need one more piece. And I think we'll have a little collaged index card. And it's so funny because I've been wanting to try that and then when I was writing down the details, I'd forgotten because um, I went back to your channel and watched your challenge video quite a bit. <coughs> Excuse me, Pam. And then I was like, oh yeah, I got to do the index card. And I was like, ooh, collage might be a good idea for that. All right, so I've got, oh, that's kind of pretty there because it kind of incorporates the pink and that. And then I had this gray. Oh, I don't mind that either. Okay, guys, gray or the floral? Gray with bows, floral. I 
How has it been since last April, Brandy? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I feel like that either, but today I got the itch. Floral. One for the floral. Thanks, Gracie. And you know what? I kind of like it coming at this angle. It kind of breaks up the, um, the, um, kind of the ups and downs, if you will. All right. Oh, there's one for the gray. That's a hard one. One undecided. Crater, yes, I remember the crater. You know what I might do? Hmm. Well, let's let's just see. <laughs> you like whatever I decide. <laughs> All right. I gotta tell you, I think I might like the gray a little bit. All right, I'm gonna go crazy and go with the gray. Gracie, you with me? We're gonna go crazy. And uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna put blue ink on it. Both are nice. Well, thank you, Jen. All right, we're gonna ink this one up, glue this last one in place, and then decide, do we want to put a swan on it, or I can just punch out a gold heart and put it right in the middle. All right. I'm gonna glue it on. We have created a collage piece, girls. Go crazy outside the box. That is sage advice, Pam. Do I use any matte gel medium? I, oh, you know what, that's a really great idea. Um, I used to, and I have some of the, the Ranger. Um, um, so yes, you know what, I absolutely should go over this. That's a good idea. See, mixed media has its place. <laughs> I think it's a multimedia matte is what I have. That would work, Jen, right? And give it a good coating on the top. All right. And that way everything would stay in place. And then I can put my information here on the back for Miss Pam. All right. Oh, I kind of like it. All right, now I've got little paper scraps all around me. Let's see. All right, am I back yet? Jackie, enjoy The Walking Dead. I might not watch it, but I hope you enjoy it. Am I back yet? Oh, good. Thank you. It's kind of weird. It's like my voicemail message from my mom kind of popped in. That was kind of strange. All right, guys, let me ask you this. Do you like turning this into a pocket? True detective. No, not me. That's what I need to do, Pam. Airplane mode. I said that after I got started. I didn't think about doing that. I absolutely should have. All right, you guys like making this a pocket? I think we're gonna make a pocket. All right, uh, do I have a pen? I don't have HBO. Let's see. Do I have a pen? I do not. Yeah, no connection broadcast. There, there it is. I knew there was something. I think I tried to do that. Is it Do Not Disturb, maybe? I think there's a thing. Hi, Rosa. Again, hello, my dear. I'm glad. Okay, I got to uh, vote for the pocket. I think 
I don't want to cover up too much of my collage, but then I was like, oh, would a pocket be kind of cool on here? And then kind of maybe just below this gold. I actually don't always know what to do with these little strips. Turn off notifications. Oh, no worry, Rosa. Coffee and dinner is a good thing. <laughs> All day long. We had something simple earlier here. I picked up a, a rotisserie chicken. Coffee does kind of sound good. I have some... Um... Oh, I was so sad. I don't like a strong coffee. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, I use, I like my Folgers breakfast blend, and I make it a little lighter than it should be. And um, you know what? I think that's so pretty. I'm not going to sponge any ink on that. Stromboli, that sounds good. Oh, that you went you went out. Did you go out, Jen? Is that what you told me? Uh oh, I left my ink or my uh, glue open. Not a good not a good thing, especially when I was having difficulties with it earlier. I'm going to put the gold line on the bottom. All right. And then, Pam, are you going to leave the index cards in the journal, or you can put them in their own little journal -y spot? Oh, my goodness, my glue is grabbing, and I'm not done moving. Okay. Lining it up, lining it up, so now we have a little pocket. Oh, I kind of like that together. And you know, it's kind of funny, because this paper and that paper are from the same line, I think. Do you like this? Stromboli does sound yummy, but we had rotisserie chicken and I um, got a pre-made salad and my husband had some um, potato salad. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, all right, let me see. Let me see, we have these butterflies. Thank you, Gracie. All right, I have these Maggie Holmes butterflies. Ooh, I like the big pink one. I think I like the pale pink one. Pam, do you have a preference? Oh, I'm so glad you're excited. I kind of like that one, but I feel like the pink one pops the most. Now the pocket needs a tag, I know. If you guys want to hang around, we can we can make another tag. I got I can do something else with the swan, maybe. Ah. Oh. No preference. Alright, we're gonna go. I think I'm gonna I like I like the pale pink. So, and it's popped up a little bit. Oh, this is cute. You know, I've been a little bummed. I haven't had any crafty time. Don't you love it when happy? Ha well, I don't even know if it's an accident. It's just coming together with all the stuff sitting around me. <laughs> oh, you like the top one? Let me look at that one again. I feel like the pink one pops a little more. To me, this one blends in a little bit. All right, Jen, I'm going to override you. I'm going to go with the pink. <laughs> Thank you, Gracie. Oh. All right, I'm gonna put some um, extra um, gel or uh, uh, Fabri-Tac on there. All right, so we're gonna do this and then maybe, oh my gosh, I like it. Okay, so we went from a collaged tag to a little pocket index card or a, well, a collaged index card to a pocket index card. Oh, I like it. All right, and I think, because I can, we're gonna round up some corners because that's how I like to roll. Y'all just made my night. My, my, my butterfly isn't dry yet. All right. That one's going a little wonky. Don't you hate it when your corner trimmer goes wonky sometimes? You do love a rounded corner. Yes, Brandy, you do. Good, shabby chic, because, you know, I don't know if shabby chic is... Oh, I like shabby. I think I tend to... Well, I to totally like the colors of it, but I don't know if I always create shabby, so... Um, I'm always excited to try. All right, so, let's see. What do I want to do? We have... I think we might go something simple. Let's see what I have left. Oh, you know what? 
Let's get in the paper pad. We might need something metallic. <laughs> Shabby North Street Brandy. <laughs> Okay, I'm reading. All right, let's see. Let's go to the paper pad. I think there's some metallic -y things in here. Let's see, here's our collage -y tag. Oh, I do like that. Ooh, okay, does this kind of, I feel like I've got gold and this kind of is a little bit too busy, but isn't it pretty? Oh, I do love some flamingos. I think that metallic is a little, ooh, Pam, I think, I think I'm liking this green. I think it's a green, no, aqua with the gold. Okay, we also have some swans, but I think the pink is going with the pink. That's two, ooh, we do have, however, this is more of a rose gold and that's an actual gold. This is the page that I trimmed those flowers out on the inside. That's kind of interesting, but Pam, I think we're gonna make a little little tag out of this one. Do you like? And let's see. All right, paper pad down. Yes, that flower page totally looks Maggie Holmes. Probably like I look why I like this pad so much because it's got the swans and it's got that Maggie Holmes feeling. Aqua gold and pink. Pam, we are some crafty sisters here because I, I, those are my favorite things to craft with. All right, so let's see. This is measuring, oh, wasn't this a, a, a four by six? So we got like four inches going across. So I'm gonna cut this to like three by five. Let's see how that'll do. This paper pad, is that what you wanna know the name of? It's called Terrace Blooms and it's from Hobby Lobby. And you see the little swans and the marbles and all of the florals and it's all of those colors. However, this one has more rose gold. And I have to tell you, see this one? That's like my favorite paper in there. It's got a lot going on. That'd be a pretty wedding card too. All right, so I'm gonna cut this to three by five. And I think that's what you asked the name of was the paper pad. You can tell me if I didn't answer the right question. You know, it would be really cool if we could just all talk amongst ourselves <laughs> rather than just typing. <laughs> Honey, you good? You need something? Is the, the race is the race finished, I assume. Honey, is the race over? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Who won? Hamlin. Who? Danny Hamlin. Danny Hamlin. I don't know Danny Hamlin. Terrace Blooms, yeah, and I, you know what, I have no idea if they still have it. I know I've had this a while, but I feel like they should. All right, so I think that's pretty on there. Terrace Blooms, and I think I am going to just round my corners again and probably keep this simple. I think we're just gonna do maybe a gold heart on here. I think this is pretty, it might be more of a rose gold, but I, it's subtle and it's pretty. Tom Petty, no! Um, Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, now I'm free, free falling. I can't sing, I have a terrible cold. <laughs> That's Tom Petty. And actually, did he not pass away recently within this last year maybe? Who actually, from what I understand, Tom Petty used to like to um, be up and around our St. Augustine, uh, St. Um, help me, what's the name, St. Augustine area. That's what I understand, he liked a particular restaurant up there we used to go to a lot when we were dating. Are you laughing at me, Pam? <laughs> oh, you know who you're thinking of is Richard Petty. <laughs> and also, oh, who's the son? Kyle Petty, they're race car drivers. Richard Petty was my dad's favorite. So he's got the big hat and the big mustache. Does he have a beard? Just mustache, I can't remember. Sunglasses. All right. 
I think I'm just going to do this simple and let's see, let us find our gold glitter paper somewhere. Lots of petties <laughs> that there are. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I always put this gold, the gold paper in your eye. Is that okay? Do we like that? And you know, I thought I'd put tassel stuff on it, but I think it's so busy, I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, he, I thought he died. So let's see, LHC, left-handed crafter is Brandy. And she makes lots of lovely things. And Brandy, I have to tell you, you're a card-making girl. You have grown so much. You make beautiful, beautiful things. I don't always comment so much and right now I know I'm very behind but oh my goodness you guys just made some really cute pocket letters no Jen he can't be racing 2017 oh you're very welcome Brandy okay that glue's giving me trouble again all right I'm gonna put on this gold heart and then we'll go back and take a look at our project because I probably got to go do some more work stuff. It's getting late, isn't it? I don't want to do some work stuff, but I got to or I'm not going to be prepared. All right, I'm going to put this gold right up towards the top. And then I'll put my information on the back of this. So Pam, like I said, when I get back, I'm going to mail this out to you at the end of the week. And... You know, I was thinking of doing another tag, which I might do off camera if I get a chance to it. Oh, Brandy. Oh, my heart. My goodness. <laughs> you are very welcome. I am thankful for you, too. I know we've talked about doing a collab. My life is so nuts. I would I would love to do something with you at some time, Brandy. If life calms down, I'm going to say, quick, grab me when it calms down. Yeah, I want to make more cards, too. And, um... Sometimes I think some layering and um, do like a quarter inch for each layer you go down. Ninju has also done um, great things with her card making too. I love to make, that's what I started. That was my first thing was making cards. Okay, I lost the project. All right, so here we've got the double little lacy pocket. So this is our journal page for Miss Pam for her challenge. So we've got the double pocket and then this is just a pre-made card and um, from Tuesday morning so loving the swans and then this is the matching envelope yeah Gracie she really has and then so that I'm doing the swan and the envelope there on the double I gotta move all this all my collage scraps here let's move them over you can see a little better Yeah, right? You know, I think that's how you learn. You know what? I have to share with you guys. Hey, hang on one second. I've got to... <clears throat> did I knock off something? I sure did. Okay. I've got such a hot mess here. Okay, so I've been watching a lot of people watch, uh, making these... Um... No problem, Brandy. Thank you, Jackie. So I've been watching people make these crepe paper um, rosettes, you know? And I used to always try to do this crepe paper stuff and I gave up and I used to have a lot in my stash. Well, I moved about six months ago and I got rid of all of the crepe paper. So um, who was it? Robin at Turtle Crafts for You. She had a giveaway where she had made like this whole bag of crepe paper rosettes. I was really hoping I would win it, but I didn't. So she just sat down and she goes, okay, I want to make these things. So she just sat down and did a bunch. So I'm like, okay, so I'm watching television with my husband the other night. So I'm making these. I made myself make 10. Some of them are better than others, but let me tell you, this is such a hot mess. This was probably my first one, which came out pretty decent. Some of them are okay. This one is just trash worthy. That one might be too. So I sat and did 10 of these. My husband was laughing. He was critiquing me. And I said, I'm going to make two more. I got to eight. You just got rid of yours, Gracie. Oh my word. Now I've been watching some tutorials where they um, 
do some stitching, which I don't love the idea of doing the stitching, but I thought I might actually try just to make a pretty one. And then I've seen some folks take like the round um, dies and then take this and run it through. And I've got like, this one lady I was watching, she would put one staple in there. I think I've got like 17 staples in the middle of mine. <laughs> Excuse me, I can't laugh, I start coughing. <clears throat> so, um, oh my goodness, I just had an idea here. I'm so ADD sometimes. I was wondering if I wanted to add a little pink daisy right in the middle of that gold heart. I think we're going to do it. So, but anyway, she was taking some dyes and I saw, is it Happy Mail Queen? Where she did a heart dye with stitched edges. And oh my gosh, they are just so professional looking. Becky's channel. You know what? I think Becky did the stitching. Becky's Life, I think is her name. Um, and she was doing those. So I'm not going to trash these, but I think I might at some point try to run them through the die cut machine. <laughs> Uh-oh, did I go away over here? Oh no, Jackie, don't cough. It's not good, don't do it. So, so I don't know if we'll sew. Can you guys see? Okay, you guys can see. Sewing, got it. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna sew either, but I thought I might try. We'll see, I don't know. Cause I like more simple projects. You know, I'm really happy that this lace on the back shows through for the top here. Cause I didn't want it to be too busy. So, okay, we got our swan card. And then when you open this, we have where I fussy cut these little flowers and I just glued them on. And then we have our pink little insides. So we made our, this is very simple. This is just a piece of paper with rounded corners and our little heart tag top, which this, I actually saw Pam. I think, Pam, it was you. You were doing um, too late. <laughs> um, some circular tag toppers where I usually do all my ribbons and stuff. So um, Pam, you gave me that idea. So that's kind of appropriate. And then I put my gold foil on the inside there so it's not plain. And then here we've made our little swan card. I love this. And then the back of it, she can do some journaling. And then here's a, this just little swan scrap. I'm just gonna leave that plain. So that is popped in here. And then these two are just some pre-made. I almost want some lace or something on here. I don't know. I'm gonna leave it for now because I think it can also be too much. If I end up embellishing it, you'll see. <laughs> so this is just a journaling card. A laugh is a smile that bursts. And I love the sweet little florals on here. So I pulled that out of my journaling cards. <laughs> what let you say sewing? <laughs> Circles, yes. Pam, I thought those, that was such a great idea. And then this is just a little Hobby Lobby floral card. So I'm tucking that up in there. And then on the back of our journaling page, um, I've just left this plain, but we've got our thanks to you guys the lace and the daisies and then what what did we make here oh yes the journaling card and there's a lot of stuff on here pam if you want to cut it down i left it long where it just says from the heart where we put our little daisy on and then there's swans and journaling on the back of that <laughs> so that is my project for um, Pam's challenge. So Pam, I'm so glad that you were able to join. Oh, let's see. Where can we put the, tuck the index card in? Maybe I'll move my swan over here. Oh, I gotta glue this down a little better. Glue it down a little better. It's actually mostly glued down. It's just that corner that's catching. Top pockets will tell you if everything's not down right. Okay. I've got to come back and do that because my glue is not working very well. So let me raise this up. Okay, get up in there. Get up in there. Maybe I'll add my index card right in here. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just leave it inside. Okay, maybe we're going to do this. Do you see the indecision? It just gets going. Oh, that's kind of pretty in there, isn't it? Let me see. Do I want to do anything else on the back? You know, Pam. Is it too much if we put a tuck spot right there? You like that idea? I'm gonna tuck that in there, what do you think? All right, let's see, let's see. I think we are gonna make a tuck spot and then we'll wrap it up. Oh. 
Oh my goodness, I think I've got to go and find some paper. So yes, I'm going to add a tuck spot on there, but I think I've got to clean up this mess and get back onto some some stuff that I know I need to be doing. <laughs> Jackie, you like the idea of the tuck spot? All right, you know what I'm gonna do? Hang on, let's see. I've got this green right here. Do we like this or do we need to go more pink? Oh, all right guys, do you like this for a tuck spot? Let's see, what else do I have? Ooh, is this too bright? Pink glitter? <gasps> Baby. I have to tell you, I'm kind of a fan of the glitter paper, but I haven't used it anywhere else. <laughs> All right, you guys, tell me. Tell me which one, both. I kind of am digging the pink. Pam, do you have a preference? Both. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I'm digging the glitter, the glitter paper. Mint. Pink first and green on top. I don't know if I can layer that one. The pink glitter anytime. I know I love. Pam's liking the mint. It's her project, so we're going to go with the mint. However, however, Pam, let me ask you this. Do I leave this plain, or do we put a pink glitter heart on it? You know, you guys just got my mojo going on. <laughs> Thank you so much. A double tuck spot? I might do that, but I might have to get off of here. Ooh, do you like that? I love to put hearts on anything. I might have to do a tuck, double tuck. Let's see, what do I need? Let's start about three inches. Okay, she's liking a glitter heart. You can have a glitter heart. Let's see, I'm gonna start at three and a half and trim down from there, I think. Three and a half. Nope. A little small. What is that? Oh, five and a half. Five and a half. So let's do like four and a half. Let's see that. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Da, 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 da. Trying to get my bearings for my measurements, you know? about here glitter heart okay knocking stuff do you have any idea how much stuff I've knocked on the floor since we've been talking <laughs> let me tell you it's a good bit it's a very good bit now I think let's do I feel like I don't have a good grasp on how this pocket is going. Let's start here to maybe here, and then we'll trim down if we need to. <laughs> I can still cut. Okay. I actually don't like the little edges here. I just don't want it to be too short, but I'm going to go in from corner to corner. So am I in frame? Yeah, I think I am. What time are we at? It is, oh my gosh, 814. Okay. I think that's better. That's better. I like it anyways. All right. I think I think, I think, well, I want to embellish more, but I think I'm going to leave it simple, but I might just do a touch of, I haven't inked anything else. You know what? I'm not going to ink it, Pam, unless you think I should put a little ink on it. However, our card is so floral. You know what? I think I'm okay because I like, sometimes I don't like to, oh my gosh, I really like that, girls. <laughs> okay, that works now. Did I drop the glue on the floor because it is, aha, uh -huh, here it is. <laughs> Good, you know what? This is coming together. A nice collaborative effort, which I really like. 
All right, we're gonna glue it on. All right. Then we're gonna call it done. I still have an idea for one more tag, but I don't. I, I know I need to get off of here. So, Pam, if you get another tag, you'll be totally surprised. If you don't, you'll understand. If I don't send it to you, you may never get it when I get back. <laughs> Sometimes I'm the queen of the best intentions. Hey, Gina, how are you? You're kind of catching us right on the end. Oh my gosh, you know, I have an envelope punch board and I have so very rarely used it. Okay, so if you get a card, you know what, it's kind of like this one's the back, so I think I'm gonna make it this away, this orientation, but I want it to sit up here. Okay, Pam, is it weird if this goes on backwards? Because then it's like that. But this is the back and it's got printing on it. But I like my card to go this way. <laughs> or, oh my gosh, okay. You guys are just, um, I'm going from one thing to the next. So this is what's fixing to happen. Pam, unless you want this to stay a card, this is fixing to become a pocket. <laughs> Gina, how are you, my dear? Oh, Jen, I absolutely will. Thank you very much. I appreciate um, your thoughts. All right, I am going to. This is what's going to happen. It's becoming a pocket. Pam, you good with that? <laughs> All right, we're going to put this little heart right on here. And I think the other little tag I was thinking about making, I am gonna, I'm going to have to make it because it's going to go and have to go in here. So I am going to. You hear my poor husband over there coughing. We're going to close this up. Good night, Brandy. I know I'm fixing to get off of here. Good, Pam. You are good. I'm glad. So this is going to become a pocket, which I think is darling. I love these little Hobby Lobby prints. This is from, what, the Petals and Bloom collection? And then my glue is seeping out here. Hugs, Brandy, to you. All right. And then I think I'm going to take our little punch here. And do a little rounded and then the other the other um tag that i wanted to do i don't know if i showed the um showed it earlier was i've got some other really cute swan paper oh my goodness um oh however i've got these pre-made tags look that'd be cute in there too um I have the swan paper, so I actually think that might be a cute little tag coming right out of there. So Pam, that's my job. I'm gonna make one other little tag and poke it in there so then you'll have something you haven't seen. <laughs> All right, so Gina, I know you were just coming in, so Miss Pam Van E, Pam's Paper Place, is um, joined us for our live craft session here. And so this is for her challenge on her channel, which is make a journaling um, page. And then when she gets all of her pages, she is going to create a, um, a journal out of them all, which I think is such a wonderful idea. And I'm going to leave the description, um, her, um, or the link to her, ch her challenge um, in the description box below. So I've got this little swan card and beautiful envelope we've tucked in. So I'm gonna do one more quick overview of what we've done. So I've got my little double pocket with my swan card. And then we created um, this little swan index card. And then that's just a scrap with the swans on it. Well, thank you, Pam. It just kinda came to me. And then we've got our little tag here with the little heart and the gold foil in the back. And then we made our little index card, which is really cute, uh, that we collaged even. I can't even believe I've been this crafty. <laughs> and then we've got a little journaling card here with our top tuck. And she wanted this shabby chic style, which I just love. And I don't create in this style very often. And then we've got our lace and our cute little daisies. 
And then we've got a little tuck spot here made from a journaling card with our swans. And then we've added the gold foil inside of our rounded areas. So that is decorated. And then we made our little pocket that I'm going to add a tag in. Pam, great challenge. I'm so glad you were able to um, join. All right, guys. Well, thank you so very much. I really appreciated you guys coming along. You made this a ton of fun. So I'm going to, I'm going to be very busy, but I want to see what you guys are all up to. So thank you guys so much for your support. Um, so fun to craft with friends. All right, guys. Well, everyone enjoy. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Bye.